Hello, Dr. Swan. What are you doing here? Looking for answers, I assume. Hello, Clark. I've been expecting you. You're probably wondering why a billionaire scientist works in the back room of a planetarium. The thought had crossed my mind. Well, I find it peaceful. Besides, I own the building. Activate screen. Does any of that look familiar? What is it? It's a message from the stars, Clark. All my life, I've been staring out into space, wondering, wondering, is there anybody else out there? And then, 13 years ago, I got an answer. Day of the meteor shower. And one of my receiving stations picked up a faint signal. It took me years to decrypt it. And finally, I discovered a mathematical key that was built into the transmission. Can you read it? Yes. It says, this is Kalel of Krypton, our infant son, our last hope. Please protect him and deliver him from evil. I'm afraid that the answers that you're searching for won't be found in this barn. I'm Bridget Crosby, Dr. Swan sent me. You'll have to forgive me, I was... You're expecting to speak to Dr. Swan personally. The matter I need to discuss with him can't exactly be relayed through someone else. I can understand your hesitancy in discussing Kellel with a complete stranger. Dr. Swan promised Clark that no one else knew. You promised? that your son's secret would not leave the confines of the Foundation, and it hasn't. This was a mistake. I never should have called. I wish that Clark hadn't contacted Dr. Swan in the first place. Your son's destiny was set in motion long before their paths crossed. You don't know anything about my son. You're right. You're right, I don't. But I do know what it's like to love somebody whose calling's greater than your own. You and Dr. Swan? In a different lifetime. Martha, I can help you if you'll let me. Now, where's your son? I don't know. He flew. He flew away. So he's... He has completely embraced his Kryptonian destiny. Do you know what that destiny is? No, but the symbol burned into your field three months ago, that's the Kryptonian symbol for crusade. I don't know what your all did to him, but I know deep down Clark is still in there. Martha, the only challenge to a father's will is a mother's love. I can't possibly face Clark alone. You don't have to. Look. It's black kryptonite. You're his only hope. Oh, I'm sorry, Lana. You have a visitor. She's here for me? Excuse me. Lana. It's wonderful to finally meet you. You are beautiful. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I'm Jason's mother. Hmm. Did I catch you off guard? No. No. Yeah, actually, um, you yeah, have a little. I just didn't know that he was expecting you. 
Well, he isn't. Could we sit? Sure. Would you like some tea? Um, no, thank you. I know this may sound impossibly British, but I just can't bring myself to drink tea from a mug. Is that terrible? No, of course not. How's Jason? I uh, haven't spoken to him since he left Paris, and he won't answer any of my calls. I'm afraid that, um, afraid he thinks that I'm angry with him. You're not? I simply want to see him again. Mrs. Teague, I... I've wanted to meet you. But if Jason isn't ready to be a part of your life, I don't think that I can either. Not behind his back. Well, the last thing in the world I want to do is to uh, put you in the middle of all this, but if you could just tell him that I'm here and that I'm staying at the Smallville Inn, tell him I want to see him. Sure. Thanks. You know, it's interesting. A moment ago, when, when I first met you, you looked at me as though you recognized me. How can that be? You must come and visit me in Metropolis. Mm. Oh, you are so beautiful. I see now why he had to be with you. Normally, I wouldn't waste my time meeting with a college freshman groveling for an internship. Well, thank you, Miss Cullen. Bitterman! Uh, yeah, Chief? Where's that piece on Senator Jennings? Oh, I, I'm typing it up. I don't see your fingers moving. 20 minutes, or they'll be twiddling over the want ads. Of course, Chief. Where was I? The internship. Oh, right, 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 right. You didn't get it. What? Well, then, why am I here? Curiosity. It's the backbone of any decent reporter. Have you got backbone, Sullivan? Yeah. I... You had a column here a couple of years ago, didn't you? When I was in high school. Well, that is quite an accomplishment to have your own byline when you're practically still in diapers. I mean, a lot of reporters, well, real reporters, work for years struggling before they can get that kind of a chance. I just wanted to meet the kid that could pull that off. Thanks. Oh, well, don't thank me. Thank Lionel Luther. He's the one who arm-twisted the old chief editor into dropping your juvenile pablum into this paper. I didn't ask Lionel to do that. Well, you didn't say no either, did you? Then you must have done something to piss Lionel off because he got you fired. I remember that day. I believe we had cake. Miss Khan, I don't expect to be given a column like last time. I'm willing to start from the bottom and work my way up without any help or arm twisting. All I want is the opportunity to prove myself. Being a part of this world, working at the Daily Planet, it's, it's always been my dream. Well, we all have to wake up sometime, don't we, Sullivan? By the way, we don't validate. You know what, Miss Khan? I know you may be editor-in-chief now, but even you had to start somewhere. And I am not going to give up until I get the same chance. I started by being a damn good reporter. You want a break? Bring me a story. Hold it. Is that the best you got? Had another six inches out here. I wasn't sure how rusty your reflexes had gotten. Senator Jennings! I know it's been a long time, but what happened to Uncle Jack? Doesn't seem fit for someone who's on a first name basis with the governor. <laughs> I don't seem to remember the governor winning a state football championship. Congratulations. Thanks. I don't suppose anybody pushed you to follow in his footsteps. Hey, you know, that's a lot better than spending the football games underneath the bleachers with the sheriff's daughters. Not both of them at once.
want you to be the first to read it. Long live the Loch Ness Monster. Mr. Hedges said it was my best story yet, even better than the one about the alien abductions. Something tells me those aren't happy tears. What's wrong? I'm so proud of you. My little cub reporter. Chloe, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Wait, for what? You didn't do anything. It's time, Miss Sullivan. Mom, who are those people? Where are you going? Mommy's just going on a little vacation. By yourself? Don't you worry. Your daddy's gonna take good care of you. But nobody goes on a vacation by themselves. When are you coming back? My apologies for keeping you waiting. Mussolini once killed a conductor for not keeping a train on schedule. Fortunately, I'm infinitely more patient than El Duce. Mussolini went down in defeat, Doctor. I won't accept that in what we're undertaking. Well, hiring me is certainly a winning strategy. Legions of your own scientists said that curing the meteor infected was impossible. Well, as impressive as your results are, some of your practices deeply concern me. I sever the cerebral wiring of the freaks in your gallery, and you pay me my fee. End of story. You've authorized batteries of tests I never approved. Tell me, are the levels of meteor rock toxicity in the patient's vital organs really relevant to the task at hand? Mankind's greatest advances would never have seen the light of day had the genius minds behind them been scrutinized under a microscope. Leave the science to me. Doctor, three of my patients are missing. You wouldn't happen to have any idea why someone with a brand new lease on life would suddenly disappear. Perhaps it's because you insisted on eradicating any recollection of their stay at Hotel 33.1. No. I insisted they'd be able to start new lives unfettered by disturbing memories especially those that could incriminate you. If there's nothing else, I have a schedule to keep. Hurry, my son. I have little time left. Do not allow human emotions to cloud your judgment. I will turn my back on my mother. looking for someone. Well, if they live all the way out here, I probably know them. Dax, sir? Dax, you know. No, uh, nobody from around here by that name. Oh, actually, he's not from around here. He's from Krypton. So am I. Hello. The House of El. You always were survivors. <sighs> Hope I'm doing this right. 
Louis. My little girl, I've asked that you girls not be brought to visit me at the hospital. I know you don't like being told what to do, but I want you to have happy memories of me. Mom. The Colonel is convinced I'll pull through. He packed a bag with my favorite nightgown and sweater. <laughs> I didn't know your father noticed those things. He even managed to slip in blue. Your father got this for me the day we found out I was pregnant with you. We were stationed in Russia, and there this is considered a symbol of hope. He's going to do a wonderful job raising you. But sometimes, girls need their mother. So as hard as these tapes are to make, there were the days that I want to be there. And won't be. Play the tapes. Think of me. Because losing a parent, it can create a hole in a person's heart. Someday, you're going to meet someone special. Knowing you, I'm guessing tall, dark, and handsome.